So in a typical control loop, the feedback is the process variable. So the control system decides to make a change. It moves a primary element like a valve. The valve changes flow or pressure. And then the flow or pressure is picked up by a pressure transmitter, a temperature transmitter, a level transmitter, who knows. There's something measuring the process variable. So it's a closed loop. You make a change, the change happens, some sort of instrument detects the change, and everything happens. In valve world, there are situations where there is not an exact closed loop measurement device to tell you, yes, I saw the change happen. And I looked all over and couldn't find a decent picture, so I kind of had to make one. But here's an example in process world where there's a bunch of control valves all controlling flame into one big chamber. Maybe this chamber is used to uh, do some heat treating on some big coils of steel or some other large components. Well, to get a big chamber hot and to stir it properly, you have to have a lot of flames. Um, you'll see things like this in glass manufacturing. There's, there's quite a few spots where this will happen. Well, your controlled variable in this instance is the temperature inside that blue box. The control system's job is to bring that blue box up to temperature by turning a series of valves that are all basically getting a 4 to 20 from the control system. The problem is in this environment is the control system has no way to understand if valve number two here, second from the left, does not do its job. It does not move. So let's say it's told to go to 50% open and it only goes to 20, or it doesn't move at all because something's broken. The control system has no idea. So what they'll do is build into the positioner on the valve, or as a separate component occasionally, a 4 to 20 retransmit to confirm that, yes, you were told to move to 50%. And in fact, in this case, all seven of these valves did and did move to 50%. So without that 4 to 20 indicating the physical position of that valve, nobody has any idea if everything's working right. So the consequence of a valve not opening is you might make a cold spot. Uh, you might get less than optimal stirring within this chamber to get the heat to all the appropriate components. So that's the reason you use it. That's not the only reason you use it. Sometimes on very critical valves, someone will want to know the position, even though it's closed loop and you will see the process variable change via a level transmitter, a pressure transmitter, what have you. So, excuse me, I hope that's a reasonable explanation. Is, 